Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to the F reading for Sunday. Now before I start the reading and I am going to use two beautiful decks of cards today the Twin Flame Journey Messages by Mystic Moon and the Twin Flame Soulmate Secrets Edition by Lorena O.G. Tarot I want to talk a little bit about the stag because the stag has been coming up throughout the readings today and the stag is the promise of your union and your mission together and if you see the white stag that's what that means. It's a symbol of the reason you've come and the reason you will unite because it's not just about you guys being in a relationship and falling in love and getting married and having kids and all the things you want to do that normal couples do. It's also about harnessing your power as a power couple to help to heal the world, to be part of the bigger picture and part of the solution as we move forward into the golden age. And these are the things that are going to be made really clear to you over the next few years. You know, especially as we move closer to what the angels are telling me is a new age coming in 2030. So it's really powerful because the white stag is going to come to you in many, many ways and many, many forms. It could be on a picture, it could be, you know, something you hear or feel or see. You know, I was talking earlier about how I went to see The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe at the theatre and completely forgot about the end with the white stag and you know there was that reference to it then it made me cry and I've got a white stag that I actually bought for Christmas and I have it in this room all year round you know because it's so beautiful and pretty and I keep it on the floor you know where one of my cabinets is and it's not really in the you know the kind of where the door is you know I don't really walk into it but I was walking back into the room after I did the weekly reading for today and it fell over so I don't know if it was the wind that knocked it over or I knocked it over but it happened for a reason and I wanted to show it to you because I really feel this is such a powerful message you know that the masculines are really getting across to you that they are aware not only that you are twin flames and that you are lovers and you are true love but also that you have this mission together they may not be able to talk about it or communicate it yet, but it's felt deep within. They have a pull to something, you know, something bigger than them. So they're pulled to you, yes, but they're also being pulled to their mission and their purpose. And that's why this come into my awareness in that way. You know, and I've walked past this stag many, many times and that's not happened before. So this stag is really kind of jumping in to say it's also about mission and purpose. So what I want to do, I want to bring these cards in to see what the masculines want to say. So what do they want you to know right now? Two cards coming out of that deck. What do the masculines want you to know today? They kind of just jumped out amazing. So the masculine is saying to you, I want to talk about living together now. This means they want to communicate. They want to sit down once and for all and talk it all out. They want to live with you, Divine Feminine. They want to share their life with you. So living together is about being under the same roof, yes. But it's also about living together, which means having adventures, feeling alive, feeling like your lives are growing together and thriving and becoming something new. So I want to talk about living together. I put all my faith in you. Now, that's a really powerful message because what we should be doing is putting our faith in God and in heaven and the angels. And that's what we do as a divine feminine. But remember, until the masculines really do harness the power of the connection with the creator, they put their faith in you. So he's saying to you, you give me strength to carry on. A lot like how I say to Archangel Michael, Give me strength to carry on. And I put my faith in him. Your masculine is putting faith in you. So have faith. I have faith in you. So if you haven't got faith divine feminine, how can your masculine find that faith in you? So you're being reminded by heaven today to have faith. And no other compares to you. So your masculine say, it doesn't matter who I'm around, where I am, what I'm doing, what my circumstances are because no other compares to you and I wish I could take back the things I set so again there's that red rose and I've got angel bumps because you know they're guiding me to use this deck and then I've just realized now there's a red rose on the deck and we've been talking about red roses connected with apology 
And he's saying, I wish I could take back the things I said. So that red rose is actually a symbol today of his apology. Honestly, the angels blow my mind because, you know, when I'm grabbing decks, those things don't cross my mind. And then they intuitively remind me of those things. It's super powerful. I just need to confess my love already. So again, that's what the rose is doing. A red rose is a symbol of love. I just need to confess my love already. So there's a sense of urgency with that. I need to do it now. I need to do it now before it's too late. And you're MILF material. So you're being reminded here, if there's an age gap and you're the older one or you've got children or maybe you've been thinking about your body, you know, thinking, is it is it good enough for my twin or does he find me attractive? Does he love me? You know, they show me things like, you know, I'm going through perimenopause and our bodies begin to change. So maybe you're thinking about that or maybe you've put a little bit of weight on and you're thinking, you know, do you find me attractive? And he's saying, are you, are you crazy? Do you know what you do to me? You are MILF material. You know, my friends are going to look at you and want you. So he's very proud of you, Divine Feminine. He's letting you know that. So I feel someone definitely needs to hear that if, you know, you've had a child or, you know, maybe your body's affected by that and you're wondering if he fancies and wants you and is attracted to you. You know, things happen during childbirth that could affect our bodies. You know, I mean, I can talk about this because, you know, my mum's not here anyway and she wouldn't mind me saying it. But, you know, when my mum had me, one of her nipples kind of inverted and I know that was also on her mind. So it didn't cause her any problems in life. But, you know, those things happening, it can make you very self-conscious and think, is there something wrong with me? You know, because it may not be as perfect as how it should be. But remember, no other compares to you and you are perfect as you are. And I can't see my future with anyone else. Isn't that beautiful? That's why the white stag moved just before I knew I was doing this reading. It's so powerful because the masculine is saying to you, I can't see my future or my life with anyone else because no other compares to you. You're the one. Everything before you was just a dress rehearsal. You're the main event. So trust the love today because he's showing you how much he cares. And he said, I want to tell you, I love you already. Give me time. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.